Hello, all my YouTube family. I have some recalls to bring to you. Oops, where'd it go? <laughs> all right, these came from our sister in, in Christ, Tessa, who goes by C.G. Gregory. The first one is in a publication called News, Nature, News Nation. I'm not going to read a lot of each because there's three of them. And I'll leave the links in the description box, okay? This one is over 500,000 pounds of canned beef recalled over high level, high lead levels. That's not good. We got enough heavy metal going into our bodies and chemtrails. You don't need to put it in your mouth. All right, so this was put out October 11th. Let's see, Kreider Foods is recalling over 500,000 pounds of canned beef with gravy products that may be contaminated with unsafe lo You know, that's the kind of stuff people buy to put up for in case of an emergency. How many people buy that? Some do. Some buy it, put it in a pan, heat it up, put it over some toast or biscuits, put a little mashed potatoes with it. You got an easy dinner, right? But a lot of people put this kind of stuff up. So now they go and throw some lead in there and then call a recall. You could keep it and pray over it. If you think you need to. So I'll, you know, take it to the Lord in prayer, everything. Because not every can maybe has it. Alright, since I'm having trouble reading, I'm going to move on. The, the letters are just getting lighter and lighter. I'm still waiting to hear from the Lord whether I need to go ahead on with cataract surgery. And I have to work on financing for that. The one doctor I had an appointment with October 14th when I called and said, I don't have any money for the surgery center. They said, oh, I said, do you know of any places that have like grants or financing for people that are on fixed incomes. She comes back and she says, well, you might try reaching out to Cooper Green. And pretty much hung up on me. <laughs> like, wow, lady. You know, last year y'all were so ready to have me be sure to come back next year because I just wanted a prescription for glasses last year, if y'all recall. Those of you who are following me last year. Anyway, this one is about uh, from WSOC TV and, and uh, just a little last word on that I don't really want any vaccinated people touching me so I'm not real sure if it's the Lord's will I'm sure he'll make it where not, they have no effect on me because nothing shall by any means harm me the word says all right this one is recall alert Listeria risk prompts recall of barbecue. Some sold to North Carolina schools. Product recall says, I think I'll take a picture of this right here. If I can get my cursor. There we go. Let's take a picture of this. I like this. Product recall. And everybody knows when they see the thumbnail what this video is all about. And we'll save it. Yes. All right. Let's see how much of this I can read. Okay, I can't. I can't read under the picture, but I'll go to the next part. October 9th, twenty twenty-one, at two fifty-six p.m. Eastern Daylight Daylight Eastern Daylight Time, whatever. By Kelly Dugan. Cox Media Group National Content Desk in Nashville. Nashville-based Nick's Famous Barbecue on Friday recalled roughly 3,140 pounds of ready-to-eat smoked pork barbecue amid concerns of potential listeria monocytogenes contamination. What if you heated that up thoroughly killed it? I would research that if I were you if I had this product. It's 
especially if it's part of your survival food. Now, some of us don't need to worry about that. Luke 21, 36 says, Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's the Bride of Christ, the remnant, the 144K. We, will, we should be out of here before famine hits, before the grocery store shelves are totally empty. I say should. I thought we'd be gone by now. So let's keep looking up. According to the U.S., Department of Agriculture, Food Safety, and Inspection Service, the issue was discovered during an assessment of the Tennessee Establishment's production records and affects the following products. Nick's Famous Hickory Smoke Pork Barbecue 20-pound boxes with a case... Okay, there's a case code. No confirmed reports of adverse reactions due to consumption of the recalled products that were distributed to institutions, including some North Carolina schools, the recall notice stated. Moving on. In the Today publication, the title of this one might perk your ears if you've got babies. This was a very popular item when I was, I had little babies. I fed this to my children. Probably got it at Walmart. Rice baby cereal sold at Walmart recalled due to arsenic, another heavy metal. If I'm not mistaken, it's a heavy metal. Inorganic arsenic could negatively impact a child's neurological development According to the FDA, most likely this is not an item you'd buy and stock up on for survival, but you'd have it on hand for your infants. All right, it looks like maybe October 11, this came out by Alyssa Newcomb. A popular rice cereal for babies is being voluntarily recalled after it tested above the Food and Drug Administration's recommended limit for inorganic arsenic, which means that there is a limit they can have. Did you know that? Yeah, there's a limit to how many bug parts can be in a batch of this or anything else. They, have, they do allow some of that stuff in there. But if it shows over that limit, then they recall it. All right. <clears throat> Hold on a second. All right. Okay, so let me start this again. Popular rice cereal for babies is being voluntarily recalled after it tested above the Food and Drug Administration's recommended limit for inorganic arsenic, which has been linked to causing cancer in humans. By the way, that's the FDA, and I put a video up on BitChute where some FDA top dogs resigned because nobody listened to them saying, do not give this jab to the children. It is too harmful to their health. And a couple other things. And it's, it's an Alex Jones InfoWars video. I found, let's see, someone emailed it to me. Don't remember who. And I shared it on bitshoot.com. My channel there is Truther 2.0. The FDA said in a bulletin that Maple Island, which sells the rice cereal at Walmart and online under the Parents' Choice brand, I knew it. I knew it. When I saw Parents' Choice, I, I was shopping online on Walmart, and I saw these things for babies labeled Parents' Choice, Parents' Choice, Parents' Choice. I said, I don't remember seeing that. It's probably great value. People probably bought great value because it was cheaper, so they ended up relabeling it. Parents' Choice. Isn't that nice? Okay. 
So it's called the Parents' Choice brand. Agreed to a voluntary recall after routine testing of three lots was found to contain above the recommended guidance. No illnesses have been reported as a result of eating the cereal. However, Walmart pulled the affected lots from its stores and put a register block on sales to ensure the product wasn't inadvertently sold, according to the bulletin. And there's a picture here. But I'm sure if you buy Parents' Choice Walmart stuff for your children, you'll know if you have it or you don't. But you might want to check the lot numbers to make sure you didn't accidentally buy some. Okay? All right, so let me lower this down and pull up my camera and say, okay, I hope that was beneficial to somebody. I always put these up in the event that one of my subscribers might have this product on your shelves. And I don't want you eating it without knowing to pray over it or cook it thoroughly. Okay, with that, I'm going to say bye for now, brothers and sisters. I'll talk to you later.